If you're scared plus of ending up short, you must understand the biomechanisms of height growth. This is because the most powerful method to solve any problem is the first principles approach. Check out what Elon Musk has to say about this. Don't just follow the trend. It's good to think in terms of the physics approach of first principles. Rather than reasoning by analogy, you boil things down to the most fundamental truths you can imagine and you reason up from there. The physics approach is defining the most fundamental truths about a challenge you're facing and then manipulating them by applying pure logic to build a solution. We are going to apply this strategy to solving high growth by analyzing the most fundamental truths about bone growth and manipulating them for your benefit. There are five fundamental laws, also known as axioms, relating to high growth. The zeroth law of height growth. You grow taller as a result of your bones lengthening. The first law of height growth. Your bones lengthen when epithelial plates, aka growth plates, solidify layer upon layer at the ends of bones. The second law. The mechanism behind growth plates transforming into bone is modulated by growth hormone in IGF-1, prompting the proliferation of chondrocytes, the constituents of growth plates, which are later crystallized into bone. The third law. Bones are made of a specific type of protein, which are crystallized by calcium phosphate in the form of hydroxyapatite crystals. And your growth plates consist of chondrocytes, which are cartilage cells. It is crucial to understand the building blocks of bones and epithelial plates to optimize their growth. The Doomsday Law, the process of bone growth, meets its demise because of an estrogen spike. Now that I have presented to you the first principles, using the physics approach, we can solve for maximal height using three simple steps. Number one, optimize your nutrition and ensure a sufficient caloric surplus. Number two, implement advanced workout regimens that target height growth by optimizing AGH and estrogen. Make this part of your daily routine. Number three, do everything in your power to avoid external stimuli which counteract the process of height growth. I will be going into painstaking detail about each of these steps telling you exactly what you need to do in plain words beginning in the next episode with optimal nutrition for height growth. If you have a need to get in contact with me or want to join the resistance faction, you can do that here.